welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing BA. BA is one of those charts that we've done quite a few trades in this year, not as much as the market, but we've still done quite a few trades, and they've all been puts. Uh, this was really one of the top picks. I'm just going to go back here from, from COVID. Uh, we, I had called this, I remember calling it and saying it on TV, and someone completely disagreed with me, and I, I thought, gosh, that person really doesn't know what he's talking about. I was calling it to drop in December, December of 2019. And then 2020 hit, and then COVID hit, which obviously no one could have predicted. And then we just did a million trades in this. I mean, it was just, it was an amazing short, quite frankly. Again, what a steep drop off from the time here in December even, it was at 328, and then the COVID lows was down here, even what was the low, 80 something, yeah. So it just collapsed. And there were many things that collapsed, some market to COVID, but this is one thing that has not recovered. This is just has not recovered. And so we've been watching it, watching it, watching it. And we, we have done a lot of day trades in this too. In fact, I think we've done as many day trades as options in it, if not more. Um, one of the reasons why it's nice to trade this stock is because it has big moves. I mean, so again, if you're a day trader, you need momentum to make money, no matter what size you're taking, small, big, or large, you want to be able to get the biggest move you can. And a normal bar in this is just like a nice medium bar is about $10. Like a jimungus bar would be, let me see if I can find, like this, it's about $13 plus. Let's look at a regular day. This guy here, this is small to medium, about $5. So it's nice to have something that moves a lot. It's nice to have something that's big. Um, and again, it's very interesting because the stock gapped up today with the overall market and didn't really go anywhere. But I said this today in the room, I actually said, or maybe it was two days ago. No, I think it was today. I said, we really, 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 really need to watch this um, because I said next week, because this looks like it's setting up to go lower again. Despite the fact that people love to buy dips, it has not worked at all in this stock. And even if you look back the beginning of January, let's find the first day of the year in this. January 3rd, the stock had a chance to recover the first two weeks of the year. It tried. It couldn't do it. It just could not do it. And this is even before the Russia-Ukraine stuff, before the sell-off in the market and everything else. This rallied up here, couldn't go anywhere. And so the last time this reached any number, even close to 230, which it didn't quite make it, 229.67 was January 18th. And the low down here for the year was 167.58. So that's quite a tumble. Quite a tumble here. So this rally today with the market, but this is definitely, definitely, definitely a watch. We caught this move. It was a beautiful move. Again, we caught that in the market too. And this is just one of those stocks that for some reason, again, it doesn't mean the company's going out of business. It doesn't mean anything at all when it falls. I mean, obviously this is still, you know, quite expensive. You know, 160, 170, 190, wherever it's trading. But the fact is that it's had a lot of short setups and the short setups have been better than the long setups. And we're just not going long it because it just doesn't make any sense. It sets up nicely and the momentum has been to the downside. And the big, big fat bars we're talking about have been to the downside. Remember, what I do is I trade gaps. So I look at the gap, I rate the gap, and then we're trading momentum, 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 momentum. And the momentum in Boeing has been selling has been selling. And again, this is above and beyond the overall market because if you look back at 2021, it, I'm not gonna show the market here right now, but just looking at this stock, the market was screeching, bullish the entire year of 2021. Again, it made no sense with the backdrop of the economy, the fundamentals, what was going on, but there, and with inflation and everything else, but the market was screaming and making a million new highs all of 2021, and this stock couldn't get a breath of life. It just couldn't catch a break. So this is definitely a watch going into next week for sure, possibly even Monday. We'll see where it goes. This has been one of the top watches for this year um, to the downside as a short, and traders are buying it. But traders buy stuff all the time they shouldn't buy, which is one of the reasons why we end up having sometimes such nice, beautiful moves 
Um, and we'll see where we go with the market this week. I'm watching it, watching it, watching it. But this is one thing that I'm definitely going to be watching on Monday morning. If you're interested in learning how to trade gaps, how to trade momentum, and specifically how to short, and again, BA has been a top short for us this year, 2022, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day.